In your own words, Mr. Pate. What I was called. Could you say it to the jury, Mr. Pate? Thank I was staged by Bob. By Mr. Bob Vila one one night. What night, sir? It was a night on November 21st. I was just leaving my office to go when Mr. B, Mr. Will, come in. Very excited he was, and he said to get to his house, someone had raped his girl. His girl. Did you go? Certainly. I got in the car, went as fast as I could. And what did you find? Found her lying on the floor in the middle of the front room one night. He right as we go in. She was pretty well beat up, and I helped her to her feet, and she washed her face in the bucket. In the corner, she, in the corner, and she said she was all right. I asked her who murdered her. She said it was Tom Robinson. I asked her if he took advantage of her. She said yes, he did. So I went down to Robinson's house and brought him back. She identified him as the one who took the wound, and that's all there was to it. Thank you. Any questions, Atticus? Yes. Did you call a doctor? No, sir. Didn't you call a doctor? No, sir. Why not? Well, I can tell you why I didn't. It, was nece it wasn't necessary, Mr. Finch. She was mighty banged up. Some show it happened was obvious. But you didn't call a doctor. While you were there, did anyone send for one, fetch for one, carry for one? No, sir. He answered, oh, my fault. <laughs> he answered the question three times, Atticus. He didn't call a doctor. I just wanted to make sure, Judge. Sheriff, you say she was mighty banged up in what way? Well, it's just her injuries, hey? Well, she was beating around it. She was beating around the head. There was bruises coming on her arm. And it happened about 30 minutes before. How do you know? Sorry, that was that's what they said. Anyway, she was bruised up when I got there. And she had, she had a black eye coming. Which are? Let's see. Can't you remember? Her left. Wait a minute, Sheriff. Wasn't her left facing you? Or oh, her yeah. left? Left looking the same way you were? Oh, yes. That make it her right. It was her right eye, Mr. Finch. I remember now. She was banged up on that side of her face. Sure. Please repeat what you said. It was her right eye, I said. No. Atticus goes to the court reporter's desk. Which which side again, hey? The right side, Mr. Finch. But she had more bruises. You want to hear about them? Yes. What were her other injuries? Her arms were bruised, and she struck her neck. Then there was a bite finger and marks on her door. All around her throat, at the back of her neck. I say it all around the finch. You would? Yes, sir. She had a small throat. Anybody could have reached around the way. Just answer the question. Yes or no, please, Sheriff. Mr. Tate is silent. Atticus sits down, and Mr. Tate rises swiftly and steps down from the witness stand.